Hey there, I want to show you another way to tune just in case maybe you don't have one of those tuners, maybe you don't have a, a phone or an iPad with the, the tuner app on it. Maybe you have a really good ear and a piano. If you're already a musician or if mom and dad's a musician and they have a pretty good ear and they've been doing this thing, this is the way I tune in class. Might as well show you guys how I do it. There's, there's a little bit of differences between the way I suggest beginners do it and the way I suggest somebody that already knows what they're doing do it. Cool? So I'm gonna tune this by ear using the piano. It's important to know what the strings are. G, D, A, and E. This is way out of tune right now. Here's piano, G, D, A, and E. So my first thing is I gotta get close. And I'm gonna try to get close with the pegs, the big, bigger adjustments. Before I do that, I wanna make sure my fine tuners are already sticking out. If they're screwed all the way in, then I can't use those fine tuners to make the pitch go any higher because they're already in all the way. Uh, I don't want them to be too far out, but I want them to be most of the way out. Over the course of the next few weeks, this violin's not gonna go sharp. The strings aren't gonna tighten on their own. They're gonna stretch out and naturally lose tension over time, getting loose and go flat. So generally when we tune, if we just have to use these fine tuners, we usually only have to tune up. So I'm gonna have them screwed out most of the way. And then, and see, you can see what I mean. There's, well, there we go. Nope, yep. There they're screwed out. Let me screw one in so you can see. You don't want it down like that. You want it out. That way we can use it later to adjust it. Cool? All right, so now I'm gonna get close. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna start with a G because it's at the bottom, but I'm gonna have to do it again later and you'll, you'll see. So here's a G. This is clearly lower, so it has to go up. Bum, bum, and it's like it went down. You can see I'm just, I'm closer. It's it sounds like the Jaws theme now. So I'm off by just a half step. I, I, it's, it's playing an F sharp, it needs to be a G. Gotta go up just a tiny bit more. I, get, I don't feel good about doing half steps with the big tuner, it's too small. I can't really get there very closely. So now I'm gonna jump down to my fine tuner. There I went up about a half step, let's see if I'm closer. They're the same pitch now, at least close enough for this first step. Second thing, I gotta do the same thing with the next three strings. So I do that three more times. This time on a D. Whoa, I'm, I think I'm already too high. No. So I just gotta go lower. Higher, I mean. Now we're closer. It went higher on the violin, so I have to come back down a little bit. It's not perfect, but it's good enough for the the, the, the first huh? up to an A. This A is super loose, so I'm going to tighten it a bunch. And I've pretty much landed right on it. Here's my E. This is the high string. Oof. That sounded close. Bum, 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 bum. 
this is actually too high. I went too high again. And going high, going too high with it, tightening the string further than it should be, is when you're gonna start having problems with breaking the string. So that was only about a half step, maybe a whole step too high. If I went three or four whole steps too high, that's where it's, you're gonna feel it. You're like, wow, this is going way too hard. I think I'm gonna break it. If you try to go a little bit more, it's gonna break. Um, so you can go a step or two too high when you're trying to get close. But as soon as you notice that that string maybe sounds like it's too high, you gotta loosen it. Otherwise, you could break it. Cool? So we did that four times. My strings should be in tune, right? Let's sing. Did it sound exactly the same? As we tightened this side, so we tightened this string, or this string first, right? Our low G. Then as we tightened these strings over here, it pulled that instrument together, and now, now all of these other strings are loose again, so they've gone flat. So you have to do this process two or three times usually to make sure it's really right, right there. So here we go, we're going back to the G. Bum, 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 bum. It went down a whole half step again. Next string up, we go back to the D. It went down again, so we gotta raise it. And remember, when I adjusted these pegs, I'm pushing in as I turn. So it's an in and turn. They have to get wedged into those holes. They're obviously not held in with glue or anything because then you couldn't turn them, right? So you gotta push and turn as you go up. As long as you're pushing it in, it'll, it'll lock in and it'll hold it, it's right. So there's that A. Here's one thing I wanna tell you. I listen to a lot of different music, so I have a lot of different examples to, to, to know where they're supposed to be. These strings are supposed to be an open fifth apart. So from a D, D, E, F sharp, G, A, one, two, three, four, five, one, five. I can hear that as an open fifth because I've been doing this for 20 years, but the way I learned how to do that was to think of a song and open fifth is Star Wars for me. Open fifth, bum bum. Try singing it. I know that you're like, I can't sing whatever. Uh, you can. Star Wars, try to sing Star Wars. I can't sing that high note, but you can get the open fifth. Come on, Star Wars. That wasn't it, was it? because it's too flat. And it ended up being below an open fifth, which we call an augmented fourth, and is really weird, and it's like the funkiest one. But I'm a big fan of Leonard Bernstein's West Side Stories, and there's, there's a song in there about Maria. Maria, I just met a girl named Maria, right? Maria. That's the note that I'm hearing now. If I ever hear Marie, then I know I'm almost there. I'm off by a half step. And usually that half step, I can just do with the fine tuning. Star Wars, Star Wars, right? So you want a Star Wars, not a Maria. We got the same problem with the E string, but I'm gonna tune it purposely too high for a second. So I wanna show you the other way. There it is in tune. If you are just too big of an open fifth, either the lower string is too low by a half step, 
or the top string is too high by a half step, either way, if the interval between the two strings is too big, then you might have a minor sixth. So it's, it's a sixth is bigger than the fifth, but if it's only a half step away, it's, it's, it's a minor sixth. And the way I know, there's um, the Godfather theme song. Or whatever it is. I don't know. Um, don't watch the movie Godfather because it's long. But, uh, and I'm pretty sure it's rated R. But the, the music's really good. Definitely listen to the music of The Godfather. It's one of the best film soundtracks out there. But anyway, you'll hear that. If you hear that minor sixth sound, your, your high string is probably too high, so we can bring it down. Let's see, that was the second time through all three strings, so it should be pretty close. The G was still not perfect. It didn't start the same way, did it? This is still just slightly, it's not even a half step anymore. It's like 30 cents flat. It's not, yeah. And there you go, it's an in-tune instrument. You'll see most of these fine tuners are still, well, they're, they're still most of the way out. I barely tuned them. If you just do like a half step at a time every couple days that your strings go flat, you shouldn't have to touch these pegs for a few weeks. Uh, usually the pegs only get knocked out of place if the thing gets dropped or or if there's a big temperature change or humidity change and something slips. But once you're here once and you're, you're pretty close, if you're careful with your instrument and you just try not to bump it into anything or anything, it should stay in tune for a long time. At least in tune enough that you can use those fine tuners. Awesome, best of luck. Um, hopefully that's, that's a few ways to tune this thing I'm gonna make one more, I won't make a video, but below this video, I'm going to explain the last, the last thing I would do before I throw this thing out the window. Actually, you know what? I'm not gonna post a video of it. Instead, I'm gonna wait till you're signed up on the Remind app, and then I will help you on the Remind app, and the last, before you throw it out the window out of frustration because you can't get it in tune, reach out to me on the Remind app. Cool?